Hi everyone, I'm Brian Easterday and welcome back to Eye of the Storm Astrology. So in today's video, I want to be, I want to continue my video series, Moon Through the Signs. It, today's video will be Moon in the Sign of Capricorn because my last video was Moon in Sagittarius. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check that out in any of the previous videos. That way you can catch up on any of those if you missed them. Before I get into it, though, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you get notified because I don't want you to miss out on any content that could be helping you turn your challenges into strengths. So moon in the sign of Capricorn. This is a place where moon can become a little bit, the, the person here will become a little bit more, you could say like stoic would be maybe one type of expression of it or just a very a straightforward person, a blunt person. They can maybe sometimes appear kind of cold and distant to others. And the reason is, is that Capricorn is a sign that's ruled by the planet Saturn. And Saturn is kind of a cold, distant, very blunt type of graha, a very blunt planet. Capricorn is the internal or the feminine expression of Saturn. So this Capricorn, they'll feel that pressure of Saturn, and but they'll feel it internally, like it, it's kind of crushing them. So they'll, because of that feeling of pressure, they will tend to be very hard workers, to be organized people, structured people, people who like to design and build systems, to uh, diagnose and solve problems. That, that can definitely be something the any of the earth signs are good with that type with like hard work focus organization they're very down to earth ground type people because they're, they're in an earth sign so capricorn really can bring this out in a very focused disciplined type of way it, moon and capricorn can be a person that likes to be a if not likes to be a is somehow even if they don't enjoy it, it somehow being a, per, a person of service of helping others somehow and that could be anything from a person being like say like a server at a restaurant to someone who's a car mechanic or someone who's a plumber or any way in which you could be helping others or providing some type of service that capricorn can symbolize those things so someone with a moon in capricorn they can be a person with their mind and their emotions is focused towards being of service uh, it could be of service towards like diagnosing and fixing problems. Say, let's see, let's try to think of an example in our modern age that would be a good example of it. Like IT, like the tech field. Dealing, you know, because a lot of tech is it's just problem solving and dealing with those type of things. And it kind of feel like frustrating and, and things like that. But you need to design and build systems and then work out the problems and the bugs and all those type of things. Someone with a moon in Capricorn could have an inclination towards doing that type of thing. Or, you know, that same energy being expressed in a different way. Of, of seeing where the problem areas are in something and then being able to uh, figure out the best way to go about resolving that and to make it effective and efficient. Because another thing that Capricorn is about, because it's ruled by Saturn, not only will Saturn make us work really hard, but one of the reasons it does that is because it's also teaching us another lesson on when to rest, when not to exert our energy anymore, when to go to sleep for the day. Like when you go to sleep for the day, that's Saturn. Uh, Saturn deals with like waste, you know, getting rid of things, recycling things, being able to take something that others may see as trash or that's like not valuable and turn it into something valuable. That's a, that's one of the strengths of Saturn as a planet. So Capricorn can have that type of strength here when, when the moon comes here. So a person being able to take something that may seem like waste to others and then reuse it. So people who maybe make products out of uh, recycled products, reusable products, for I'll use an example from like the farm here uh, with compost. Right. Most people might see just a big pile of shit. I see a wonderful pile of compost. I know that's going to like break down and build good organic matter and like build up the soil and help me like grow really amazing plants and things. And I, I absolutely love that stuff. So being able to see that 
this thing may be discarded or may seem like waste, but there's a way you can reuse that. There's a way you can fix it, repurpose it. So that can be something that you can see with someone that has a moon in Capricorn. They might have an inclination towards those type of things, or at least the ability to see the value in things where others may not see the value in it, that, that type of thing. They will definitely be people that will be goal-oriented, and they'll be willing to work towards the long-term goals. Just because like Saturn, it's, it's a very slow-moving planet. You know, so it's focused on the long term things, the long term cycles. So this is the idea that like, oh, I know I'm not going to be rich tomorrow, but if I put five dollars in savings, you know, today and then I do another five dollars the next day and another five dollars the next day or whatever it is, after a period of time, I'm going to have a lot of wealth built up. That type of mindset that those are some of the lessons and like the the experiences you'll see with a person with like a moon in Capricorn. It's that that theme of knowing that if I do this work now, I may not immediately get rewarded for it, but the reward will be down there. Like it'll be there down the road and it'll be worth having. Those are the type of things. People with moon and Capricorn can sometimes like suffer from depression and things like that, though, because they can end up feeling a little bit crushed because of that Saturnian pressure because saturn's a very harsh like sharp planet very cold very distant and the moon is very friendly it's very feminine very soft it wants to have enjoyable experiences and, and capricorn isn't a sign that's about enjoyable things right it's about work and focus and structure so the moon doesn't feel as free here like it doesn't feel like it could relax you know like it might be able to and say like Oh, like when Moon goes into Cancer or Gemini, it's a little bit more fun loving and things like that. Moon and Capricorn is a little bit more straightforward of it, it. They're a personality type that they're like the the is what it is type of personality. That's a that's a very Saturnian or Capricorn type of phrase. You'll hear when people say it is what it is, just accepting it. It's like it's not a personal thing. It's non biased. It's very neutral because Saturn's a neutral planet. But just looking at things for the reality of what they are, like people like a moon Capricorn or like a heavy Saturnian influence in their chart, they can, for example, they'll be the person that like in a conversation, they may say something that may not necessarily be like socially acceptable or where people are like, God, that's like, that's kind of cold and brutal. You know, like, for example, someone might be like sick with disease and everyone's like, oh, man, that sucks. I really hope they're going to. I hope they're going to get better at a Saturnian person, you know, they or a person like Moon and Capricorn, they might just be like, well, you know, it's sad, but we all die. You know, it's not wrong. It's it's true. It's a very, it's a true fact. Like that's something we all, the, our vessels, these incarnations all do die and decompose and go away at some point. But that may not necessarily be what other people want to hear at that time. So that can be, an experience people with Moon and Capricorn have is that they will sometimes just say things that are like true, but they're kind of just like what may appear as cold and distant in the way they express that. But it, it doesn't mean that they aren't because they do feel things very deeply, but they're just very neutral about the way they they approach things. So they can that neutrality can come through and that because of that it can feel very kind of distant or cold so the next thing that i want to talk about with moon and capricorn is that like some some of the major like karmic lessons here so big lessons for moon and capricorn people could be like things with boundaries learning when to let go of something that's not worth being dedicated to because being dedicated to something that's a good quality unless we're dedicated to the wrong thing right you don't want to be dedicated to the wrong thing because then you're wasting a lot of your energy and that's one of the lessons saturn tries to teach us is, is when something's not worth being dedicated to when to let go when okay i've worked at this job for five years i really have this long-term goal and i know i'm never going to achieve it if i'm still doing this other thing so I need to let go and save my energy here and put and focus my energy towards this other thing that I want to achieve. So that's something with Moon and Capricorn. It's, it's useful for you to review the things that you are dedicated to, that you are working really hard towards, and ask yourself, is this really what I'm wanting to do? 
or does this feel like something that's just draining my energy? And this is going to be a big hint for you, people with Moon and Capricorn. So listen closely to this. And, and this will work for anybody, but especially people with this disposition. If you are doing a task, like say you're going to a job or you're dealing with a relationship, something like that, and it is leaving you feeling drained and exhausted afterwards, that is not the thing for you. That's Saturn telling you, hey, this is a waste of your energy. This is draining your life force energy. Saturn is trying to prolong your life. It wants you to save as much as your life force energy as you can. Okay. So if you're feeling drained, that it is, it's telling you this is not what you're supposed to be doing. So find something that lights your soul up that is worth being devoted to. It's worth being dedicated to and putting all that hard work and focus and design and effort into. That way you actually get that long-term reward that your soul really is seeking, that you really do want to experience. So that's some of the karmic lessons that you'll see for, for people with Moon and Capricorn. So that's going to wrap this video up. If you guys found it valuable, be sure to like it. Comment below. Let, you know, let me know your experience. Do you have a Moon and Capricorn? Do you know people with Moon and Capricorn? Uh, does this resonate? Does it not resonate? What, whatever it is, let's get some engagement going below. If you guys need to contact me for information about consultations, courses, you know, ask me a question, whatever it may be, you can click the link in the description below. That's to my link tree. And that is kind of like a one-stop shop to any of my different, uh, you know, my website, social media, email, all, all that stuff. It'll, it'll get you where you need to go there. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Remember, by creating more awareness, we create more opportunities to be the best version of ourselves. I'll see you guys next time.